New Year, New Gear. That seems to be the motto now. Well, we're going to be taking apart our current setup. We're going to be doing it by pieces. I have a replacement for my Samsung 49 inch right over here. Service right for about three and a half years. We're going to be bringing this puppy to work. And we have a new product coming up from LG. And that's coming up. Today's world showing you that I take means I try. Now you guys have seen me uh, modify some stuff. Well, we have a new place, and it's a new year, and we're going to be redoing this room here to be a really cool studio for YouTube and content creation and movie watching. So if you're up for that kind of journey, do me a favor, join the family, hit like, hit subscribe. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to replace this old tech. This 49 inch has served us well and it's going to greener pastures at my job in New York City. So we're gonna be replacing this 49 inch with the LG 45 inch 240 hertz gaming monitor. And then we're going to be attacking these two puppies up here to do the same. So if this video gets 4,000 likes, I can either give that one to one of you guys and that one to one of you guys but join us here we're going to be revamping a whole setup not just a setup this whole room is getting redone and uh should be fun but for right now we're going to take apart this monitor and uh take a look at lg's new operating like subscribe let's get this going okay so let's get the specs out of the way now this is the LG 45GR95QE. It is the world's first 240 hertz gaming monitor. It's 45 inches, 21 by nine curved, 800 are curved. It's gamer centric design. It has tilt, height, swivel, adjustable, and the picture quality is OLED. You'll also get HDR10, DCI P3 98.5% and it's got anti-glare which means it's got uh, non-gloss and it's low reflection you'll get 0 0.03 milliseconds response time that's really really fast it's the fastest in industry leading speed you also get adaptive sync and it's got a simulated image so that you're not going to burn images on the screen and um, should be good to go. So let's get this unboxed. You see the nice big blank canvas right over here. Now this was $16.99, but if you're going for next generation specs, you gotta go for the best. You can see how it goes. And this is NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. So our power consumption here, we have a power brick along with the rest of the power. We have a DVI cable. We have this cable inside and HDMI. Okay, now we're going to marry these two pieces together. You pop it in, you twist with the accompanying screw. Thank you for making this really easy. Now LG has a ton of monitor selections and they make it really easy where you don't even have to get a screwdriver. And the stand is built. Now let us take out la pièce de résistance. Now the first thing I want you to notice is the curve. It's an 800R curve, really cool. And let me show you guys the back. You can see that there's different inputs here. All the cabling is gonna go in and it should be really simple to click in. And let us, that's it, simple as that. So let's get the cables on and uh, we'll set it up. Present to you 
the peel portion of this demonstration. Oh, that feels so good. Monitor is up and I'll show you the experience from scratch. Wow, look at that, look at that. The colors are vibrant. And I'm using this with the Mac. Wow. This is the brand new mouse backpack. Wow. Let's see what it can do. Look at that. It's as, as big as a TV. This is the Anchor 737. Let's go back. And just take a look at the landscape here. It's really good. Vibrant. And welcome to the new studio. Colorful. Now, in our new brand new condo. Wow. There are a couple upgrades that need to be done immediately. Now the bathroom for instance. And with the curve that's here, it looks pretty good. And take a look at this. That is epic. Can't tell the graininess on here, but it looks good. Side by side. Both your inputs. You can do shrink it on the bottom. And still you're able to work. So you can have your game play there, or you can switch it to the different size. You can also minimize the picture-in-picture -picture screen to be even smaller to that effect, where you're still able to get all your stuff. So you can shrink down the picture-in-picture -picture size to your liking. It's really convenient. I think I'll leave that there. And if we take a look, you can also see the hexagonal lighting. Now, let me... Or we can select the different colors. An elegant uh, platform for you to be able to use. Now the one drawback that I see with this is it doesn't have built-in speakers. So you're going to need to get a really good set of headphones when you're playing your game. Or when you out the PlayStation. And as you see, everything looks good. Let's start up some gameplay. But the curve is really good. It's a brilliant screen. Sounds awesome. The one thing I will have to get is a speaker system because this does not come with a speaker system. Let's continue. And you can see Astro is, looks good. The screen looks good. It envelops you into the screen. Okay, let's try. And you can watch all your content directly on. Um, it definitely is immersive. The screen is Quite compelling. And you can do your gameplay automatically on. Great screen. Now the next thing I have to do is to get 
these two LGs with an extended arm and we should be good to go. The Ultra Gear 45 GR95QE is a breathtaking monitor. Now, in order to use the other two LG monitors I have, I'm gonna to have to find extra tall uh, monitor stands to raise it up just to get a nice symbiosis of a wall of monitors, a wall of productivity, so that I can get this going. But I'm gonna be upgrading these two to the 27 inch GR95QE as well. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. If you guys wanna see some gameplay or anything with this monitor, let me know what's up. I'm gonna to have to change a lot of stuff here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I tried. Peace.